to the start of Inferno versus Texas Hex. This is the second game in our Texas women's club sectionals round robin out in Round Rock multi-purpose complex. Definitely had to practice saying that one in my head first. I'm happy to say that Google Maps does finally know where Round Rock multi-purpose complex is and it doesn't just put us randomly on the street like two miles away from the place. So that's good. I believe Inferno played their first game against Showdown. Ooh. And then we had Texas Hacks playing against Cazadora in that first matchup. Video is up on my YouTube channel. Go find it if you haven't watched it already. So Hex unable to make use of the short field position. I will say that most of their scores in the Cazadora match consisted of either transition deep throws or jamming it up the sideline. So I'm not sure how well that's going to work out for them long term today. That deep throw just far enough. And Balzi going up wide, throwing the score. And she did that against the Mayhem teams that I coached so many times. I don't even know if I can be happy about that or not. Good stuff from Inferno coming out of the gate. Earning a D, getting a break. They're going to go up 1-0. Showing up late. Where did they run off to? <laughs> okay. All right, so I was getting distracted by uh, Lexi's very witty jersey. Oh wow. And Hex have decided to do the ultimate jam it down the sideline strat. Looks like Inferno is also forcing backhand and Hex said, cool, I'm going to throw a hot backhand. And in the end, Hex never got it off of the backhand side of the field but did get a score thanks to uh, two teammates skying each other equally to go and get that disc. So with that, Hex holds on this O point. They're still down a little, uh, little break, a little half break, whatever you want to call it from the start of the game. Um, yep, gonna tie the score up one to one. All right, good, beautiful pull from Hex, putting it all the way in the end zone. Oh, there's an open deep runner. Nobody's on here. <laughs> oh, man, that is very clearly a mistake. As uh, even I know, this particular player is like Inferno's number one deep runner. <laughs> all right, so I need, to, uh, I need to talk before I need to talk before the pool a little bit more. Make sure we've got, we can count to seven appropriately in the future. And uh, Inferno taking advantage of the new innovative defensive strategy. And I'm going to bring the score up 2-1, to one, still up a break from that first point. See Hex trying their hardest to ISO some cuts in the middle. A little bit of a fortunate float on that disc. Yeah, good wing run from Summer. Throw's not going to be able to get there, but not entirely sure what throw that would have taken to really hit that wing spot. I mean, all jokes aside, Hammer would be the correct angle shape on that, but Dougal Sports would never encourage Hammers. Oh, yeah, Ballsy heads up. <laughs> they just immediately rips a deep back in. Let's go, Inferno. 
Oh my goodness, they just keep chasing it. Oh man. All right, we're gonna we're gonna call that in. <laughs> Save us from doing another uh, questionable. I shouldn't say questionable. Those are good transition throws, keeping the defense behind them. I love how every one of the receivers who caught it first check to make sure, like, hey, am I okay? Is my defender okay? All right, time to throw deep. So good stuff. Inferno coming out real hot in this game. Uh, that's their second break, so I believe that's going to put them up 3-1. Alright, Inferno has come out. I don't know, it looked a little junky at first, but now they're definitely in person defense, so. <laughs> and we can see Hex. Yeah. He's definitely going back. It's like way, way before. <laughs> Alright. We can see Hex struggling to get rid of the clogging. Did you ever stall? So she's gonna tap it in. So we're going to see Hex run a structured offense. Of course, as soon as I say that, they just go straight deep shot. I should really use my commentator's curse for good. Like, there's no way she's going to get a sweet layout catch here. Ah, oh, dang, it almost worked. <laughs> it's amazing how that stuff always happens. All right, good hard cut under. Definitely rewards the hard cut. Love to see that. Elliot's open, but uh, unable to get it to her. We're going to say nice D on the mark. Coming in on zero. Yeah, there is a... So we do have a few yards of cushion deep, but that was about two seconds ago before when she should have thrown it. And uh, by the time she had time to think about it, defense was there and set up. Yeah, good strong D. <laughs> Definitely needed that. Alright, I'm gonna focus on the cutters for y'all. Yeah, those those dump throws are always gonna be tough. I feel like the uh, the lefty backhand is the better choice there. Or a push pass, dish pass, something like that, but Throwing a flick to a flick side dump is always going to be hard. Five. Do eventually get open in the middle? Good D. I thought for sure with that uh, swing that, that was going to be an easy score, but... Alright, Hex have left a lot of space on the sideline. Smart from them. And once again, we, we do have a lot of good open deep runs. Great look! Great point! This time the thrower was ready to put it. And it was just an unforced drop. From our player that got the D in the deep space. <laughs> throw had to be good. Didn't like that undercutter. Instead went swing. And there is another D. Two Ds at one point. This is when you just pick up a boost it and say, I put the team on my back. <laughs> oh, uh, okay, yeah. Well, <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's awkward. High stall count, had to put it. And third D. <laughs> third D this point. I should probably learn her name at some point. Yeah, 
Right, after that injury sub. Disc is back in. Trying to get near the disc, they do. And she just puts a backhand deep. And as with both teams, they push the issue in transition. They both like that fast moving offense. And eventually, the player who got all the D's catches the score. Good stuff, and that's going to bring the score, I believe, two to three. Yes! All right, there is the pool. Missed as always. Oh, we got a straight deep run. We got lots of deep runs from Inferno. This time, though, they are all guarded. There is a person on each of them with the deep space. Oh, Lexi. Where was the flag layout D, Lexi? Just kidding. Please, please keep your collarbone unbroken. Don't lay off for things above your neck. Oh, RIP. And Inferno showing us they have a well-oiled machine on offense. Gonna bring that score four to two. Oh man, they. St oh, there they are. We're back. They stopped the cheers as soon as they stopped started filming. That's cool. Oh, okay. Well, because of that, y'all got to miss this wonderful pull. That might have landed in. I don't know. It's a hard, it's a hard read. Is it 4-2, is it Ted? 4-2. All right. I was all... Oh. <laughs> Ted 4, it's 4-2. Got it. All right. Emma did, Emma did it for shows. We're fine. <laughs> Frisbee gods have been appeased. All right. Hex with their initial cuts. Neither of those diamond cuts are open. Wow, Summer's huge wing out and under got open, but nobody was looking for her. Sad times. Man, I wish I could have a... Oh, wow. Layout. Yeah, we got that one. That might be layout of the day. And as always, I don't know how to do a real call on plays like that. Oh, he's just as amazed as y'all are watching at home. So, hey, that was pretty good stuff. <laughs> uh, so yeah, that was a good point from Hex, just ignored all of Summer's amazing cuts. And uh, in the end, Captain Handler, uh, D-Master, from the previous point, getting however many it was, three or four Ds, decided, you know what, I was gonna, I was gonna lay out and then throw a score. Cool. And that's gonna bring it three to four. Well, I didn't even have my camera open for that pull. That's how badly I missed that one. Oh yeah, good, good sideline cut. The player said yes, 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 so they obliged and threw it through. And unfortunately that throw falls just a little bit out of reach. Maybe they should have tried that radical idea of swinging the disc off the sideline. I know it's newfangled. Good snag, not an easy one. Very smartly looks off that backhand. Player running through. No, not like this. Oh, you have to lay out for it. <laughs> Your teammate had a cool layout. Don't you want a cool layout? Alright, let's see Inferno's end zone set. Have they practiced this? All right, so front of the stack, good choice. And they're gonna score that one to bring it five to three. Still up a pair of breaks. Five? Yeah, five to three, okay, cool. They're trying to short change us a point. Dual sports not gonna allow it. Be right back. That's the big old lefty rip. It is going to stay in bounds. Meant to do that, obviously. Uh, initial diamond cuts did not get open. Had to go dump set. There's Summer once again wide open, but Texas Hex not throwing to her. <laughs> That's going to be the uh, the story of the game today. Way to go, Lexi. Then Lexi Yolo's a deep shot down the sideline. Why not? 
<laughs> Why not? That was a good look. I heard the coach say it. That makes it okay. We're all number six. We're all number six. <laughs> <laughs> Someone said smarty pants and then they said, oh yeah, I went to rice. Ha <laughs> <laughs> very funny Inferno jokes. Oh, Lexi coming through with the smash. Give her some bookends. Give Lexi bookends. No. Oh, you gotta play deep. Yep. Fortunately, that, uh, that, that player is a well-established defense in Arian. Beautiful throw. Oh, it is it is very clogged at the moment. They had to go to a cutter to get that reset. All their oh, we juked out. I do the same thing. Her lefty backhands are so good. Are they gonna call foul? No, clean. Good tight D from Hex. There they go. They finally find Summer. Oh, I look like I hurt. <laughs> Everybody was calling a foul except the player that got fouled. So we're going to see how this gets resolved. <laughs> we are all going to agree as society that that was a foul. Send this back. They are deciding what the stall count should come in at. <laughs> come in on. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all you rules experts out there, what stall count do we come in if the foul occurred on nine? And it's an I should go back to zero then if it's uncontested. Hmm. <laughs> Nevertheless, we're going to quick transition, go deep throws. We have a wide open. And in the end, stall count thoughts don't matter. Inferno punches it in. And they are going to take half. Six to three. Yep, six to three. Oh, here comes our pool. We are back after halftime. Wow, what a throw. There was no way I was getting that throw in frame. Such a beautiful break there. All right, bit of a yellow deep shot. Yeah, that's going to be hard. She had to box out in the back, but... Good stuff from Hex. Aren't really able to continue and get big yards though. But they did do the swing and the continue, so that's nice. There we go. Way to stick with that cutter. Gave her time to cut and she got open for her. No YOLO backhands. Decided to play it chill. Looks like Luck smiled on them for deciding to do the right thing and swing the disc around. And with that Hex score out of half on their O point, going to make it 4 to 6. Yep. Alright, we are back in. 
Uh, I lied, that was actually Hex. That was a break for Hex in the last point. So, they are on track to try and uh, tie this game up, similar to how Inferno did at the start of the game. Oh, Alexi almost got there. That is correct, get it off the sideline. Oh, look at that. Look at what happens when you get it off the sideline. Look at that easy under throw that you get. You go right back to that sideline if you really want to jam it. Beautiful stuff. Go ahead and put that one in the collection of clips that shows you why you should swing the frisbee. Good stuff from Inferno. And that's going to put them up seven to four. All right, catching the pool. Going quickly for Hex. Six, seven, oh, man. <laughs> Yeah, even, uh... Oh, we're going to have a foul call and discussion. Which would definitely be an interesting... Interesting one to go look back on. I don't know if my film is really good enough to get a good view of it, but... Good swinging around from Hex. I love the big backhand fake. That opened up that inside flick because it got the mark to move way off. Right, yeah. oh, Trying to get it back to Jaeger, but can't. Oh, yes! There we go. And once again, that should be a lefty backhand. I know it sounds trashy, but... Oh, my God. <laughs> That's got to be down, right? That's got to be down. <laughs> No, we're not watching. No, no. Worst perspective. There are there are 14 people with a better perspective than what I have. <laughs> Even though my call was down, but I'm I'm historically wrong. Like I don't know, 80% of the time when I try to make calls from up here. So I don't know. Y'all y'all give me like a grady uh, screen shot, screen cap of whatever frame you want to to prove whether you thought that was a catch or not a catch. I'd love to see some uh, some hype discussion on the on the Twitter. Hit me up at Dougal Sports. I have a real Twitter account now. Yes, I do, Lexi. I know I Oh, okay. Let's go, Inferno! Cool. That's gonna make the score seven to five. Go for Tata! Yep, seven to five. I had to count some binary real fast. A fantastic hex cast by Lexi by yelling hex caused that disc to land in the corner. Glad to see they've been practicing their spells. All of y'all that did not get your Hogwarts invitation letter, don't worry. There's a frisbee team for you. And that throw barely over the head. So oh, ballsy, and now, <laughs> straight deep throw. That is uh, pretty YOLO, not gonna lie. Also, I'm pretty sure she got fouled on, fouled on that throw, so that's and one. But great stuff from Hex, that's now two breaks in this half, and they are fighting to come back in this game. Still early in the day, both teams have lots of energy, so this uh, this game might be going hard cap. Get ready. It's gonna make the score six to seven. Dang, Summer, let's go. Oh man, once again. The throw just barely over the head of Ballsy. And now Inferno's O-line's got to buckle down and play tight defense. They're going to focus on the cutters. Wow, what a catch. That was just an incredible catch. Once again, throwing behind Summer on the dump cut, she runs too fast. 
Not even Jaeger could hit Summer on that uh, upline strike cut. And now Inferno get their second chance at offense. Oh yeah, super tough dump throw. And Hex is putting on the tight defense. Yeah, it's not like these throws are missing by much, but it's just, you know, when you play against a team that plays tight defense. Some sort of call. Maybe a travel on the throw? Maybe a stall? Oh, travel on the throw. Alright, we're gonna zoom out just so we can see. There's gonna be a lot of running around. All right, they are resetting back to where they were. And Disc is now in. Stall count's got to be somewhat high. And the Hex still trapped on the sideline. Does Elliot get it off? Nope. Yeah, the defender was not catching up, so I was thinking either they are doing some super poach or... But hey, as you can tell from all these uh, picks and travel calls, this game has gotten close. <clears throat> so buckle in, get your popcorn out. There's a good dump. They don't swing though. Summer once again so open on that strike but they can't ever get it to her. Man, I wish I, I wish I had the time and the energy because I would make a highlight clip of all the wide open cuts the Summer has had that nobody threw it to her. And then just play like, I don't know, Charlie Brown theme music to it or something. Oh, Kimmy, you know she's cutting on new. Super tight back here. This is really tense for both teams. This is a really important point for both teams. Hex has the momentum on their side. Beautiful stuff. I wasn't even going to be mad if that wasn't caught. That was still the right decision. And yeah, they have shown they are not afraid in transition. They will throw that disc. They will lead their receiver out in front. And with that, Inferno do finally score in that O point. They had to fight for it. Lots of turnovers. And that is going to make the score 8 to 6, I believe. Alright, straight up missed that pull. See, that's that push pass I'm talking about. I know it looks trashy, but it's so easy to catch. Alright, she saw her teammates throw some YOLO inside flex and she wanted 2 2. Oh no, it was the easy throw. Hey, that's a great throw, Alyssa! <laughs> there was like a five star inside flick throw. Nothing wrong with that. Connected. And then, as always, the easy one. Knock it down, knock it down, knock it down, knock it down! Knock it down, knock it down. Good comments from the coach focusing everybody in. Play defense. Forget about that offense. Gotta have a short memory in Frisbee. Well, a short emotional memory. Alright, Inferno's D line. Very well measured cuts from Inferno. There's not really very much clogging. They're making sure not to cut each other off. Good standard D line offense. 
Nobody wants to run any harder than they have to because they know how much, how valuable this offensive chance is for them. Oh no, the swing around, absolutely the right choice, but unfortunately they ran into Carly. Oh, are they going to boost this? Is Sarah going to boost? No. Carly will boost it though. If somebody runs deep for Carly, she will throw this. That back left corner, they will throw this to her. Oh no. Wait, you look dumb this time. She's still open back there. Okay, well now she's not open, but... Yep, Ager's gonna put that. Let's go! Oh, what a D. What a big time. Big time D. Yep, you get FaceTime for the whole walkout. All right, second offensive chance now for Inferno's D-line. They are up 8-6. They're trying to give themselves a little bit of cushion. That is not what they needed, though, because now it's short field. And finally, Jaeger gets to go to the player she wanted to the first time. And dang, got a, got a feel for Inferno on that point. They played super hard, got it really close to the end zone. But in the end, Peck score, and they're going to make that 8-7. to seven. Let's go, Inferno! All right, Summer checking in with her team, make Let's sure everybody's go, ready. Inferno. Letting them all know that uh, she will be open about the turnover. Find her. That throw landed inbounds and then rolled out. What are you doing, coach? Let them pick it up themselves. Let's go! Let's go. <laughs> All right, Inferno's O-line very calmly and quietly brings to the middle of the field. Oh, the shade deep right. I love to see that. If Hex were forcing, well, right-handed backhands, then Emma could have thrown that. Yeah, classic handler layout. Never want to have to do it. They never look good, but necessary. And so far, Inferno unable to find any of their cutters downfield. Every single throw has been to a handler or to a really close reset like this one. So, kudos to Hex for playing fantastic downfield defense. We focus on the cutters for a second. Yeah, good choice from Elliot to uh, cause some contact and take away that backhand rip. That power position backhand is deadly. There we go, finally finding. It has taken a lot of throws. This has been the first successful throw after two overthrows to Balzi on undercuts. But finally works out. She worked really hard that point to get open. And in the end, they get a score off of it. And with that, I believe Inferno is going to go up 9-7 to seven and call a timeout. Yep, 9-7, they're calling timeout. Get ready. Oh yeah, beautiful floaty pull. Gave their defense time to run down there. And as y'all can hear, that Inferno sideline is pumped up. Essentially, if they can score this point because of the time, it's going to pretty much guarantee them a win. That's, that's essentially how this works out. But Hex is saying not today, and there is a pick over here in this jumble. Yeah, this number 13 is explaining this is a hot bus. <laughs> All right, what do we get here? Do we get a throw up line to a Jaeger or Sarah? Do we get a swing, a dump swing? Do we get a dump swing continue? Oh, tragic. Absolutely the right decision. Beautiful floated throw. And now Hex is going to have to earn it back on defense. This is a great opportunity for Inferno. 
mostly what they need to do here is just very calmly work it all the way down the field and score or take a really long time to calmly work it down the field. Either thing is going to work out well for them. It is currently 11.33 game time as of my commentating. The next round starts at 11.50. I don't know when the hard cap goes on. So I will uh, explain the time situation for y'all. There's probably seven minutes left in the game if I had to guess, but there might even be less. Oh, yeah. Jaeger with those hands up, showing everybody at home. That's why you do body position. That's why you keep your hands up. Because you never know. It might just be a super important point at sectionals that you happen to get a D like that. And this time punches in the score, and that is absolutely huge, Rex. That is absolutely huge because now, even if the hard cap goes off in this next point, they still have to finish it, which gives Hex an opportunity to tie the game up and take it to ultimate point. So, super huge point for Hex. Got to bring the score eight to nine, but even though they're down by a point, they are in a good position. All right, I heard Hex say the words across, which means they are probably going to come out of the person defense. Inferno very calmly catches the pull and looking to gain some easy yards. Dang. Just, I don't know why you would throw that when you could do the upline. Why you try to fit it in that tiny window, but hey. Now they don't have time to think about it, they gotta play defense. It's actually not the end of the world if uh, Inferno gives up a score here because they just play another O point after this. So they obviously want to get a D. Oh, a summer, let's go. And this is one of those situations in Frisbee where it just seems like the other team can't mess up. Just makes you wonder why it wasn't this easy all game, but you know, sometimes it just goes like that, momentum happens in games, and with that, Hex is going to tie it up 9-9. Nine to nine. They've scored the last two points. And this next one, it's going to be important. Day, and thank you for three more games. <laughs> yeah, Kimmy! Let's go! Hey! Kimmy with a big old huge backhand rip. That's gonna stay in bounds. That's gonna go into the back of the end zone. Game is tied. 9-9. Nine, nine. Go ahead and consider this ultimate point. That's what this point feels like at the moment for both teams. Man, it's just Inferno can't catch a break. And just like it was last game, Hex is working with transition and short field, which is always going to make your offense look good. Yeah, there it is. It's got a float, though. Dang. Getting hype, can't blame them. And with that, they're going to score a 10 to 9, but. Because they've been scoring so quickly, I don't think it's hard cap yet. Yeah, it is not game over yet. Covers. We're going to ignore that pull that went out of bounds, giving Inferno incredibly short field position. <laughs> Score is currently 10-9 with Hex up, meaning that if Hex scores, it's game over. Uh, if Inferno scores, this will go to an ultimate point no matter what. So super tense at the moment for everybody still. I will say there's a major advantage to Hex, which is that they have actually been subbing their players out between points. Oh no, Inferno did make subs. Yeah, never mind. I'm wrong. Bad Diggle Sports analysis. And that is the 
first unforced error from Hex that I remember seeing in a lot of long time. Don't know how many points it's been. It seemed like Hex just couldn't do anything wrong for the past three points. And there, finally, Inferno might be able to get a little bit of something to work with. They run their end zone set. They're not going to be. In the, they're not going to be able to score though. Good dump around. Have faith in your left-handed handlers. <laughs> yeah, I had to just put it up. Literally as soon as I say that, as always. High stall count, had to throw it. It's a stall. If you're Hex, you might rather have it in the middle of the field, but whatever, let's just keep playing. Oh, Carly. <laughs> Yeah, you know, with the roll, it may not be a bad thing. All right, Inferno is not running super hard at the moment. I don't know if they're trying to leave space open for the cut. The disc is in. Oh, crap, I looked at the wrong person. I guessed wrong. Fantastic dish, middle of the field. That is not an easy throw. It looks easy, it looks smooth, but it's not easy. There we go, yeah. Inferno is doing what they need to do, which is find the open players. Somebody's got to be tired out there. Oh, no. Oh, that is the that is the opposite of finding the, the open. That was taking a 50-50 and going for it. Good early cut. Love to see it. Oh, wow, she came back under and got it back under. Let's go, MVP. I don't even care what else has happened in this game. Anytime a wing cutter at the end of the game runs 40 yards downfield and then it gets opened back under, you're going to get my vote for MVP. Oh, calling an injury. So, this might need to go back. Hey, hard cuts, hard cuts! Yes, Jessica. Keep you want pineapples? Y'all are killing it! Keep working hey, don't go behind the cut! Keep it chilling! We're good, we're good. Boomba, boomba, boomba. Hey, let's keep that flow. All right, here we go, Hex. Show us what you got. Coming in on one. And that wind picked up right as they threw it. You can see shade tint, not staked down. And that wind affecting both teams equally as you can see. Going to make them work hard for this. Beautiful inside flick though. Oh, what a run through D. What a run through D. That is big time. That is absolute big time for Inferno. And what great experience for both teams to be able to play in this game. Never get to recreate this experience in practice. This is something you're going to be able to look back on and think, yeah, I know this is scary, but it wasn't as scary as that time that we were down 10-9 against Tex. And hard cap was going off. Dude, just bob it. <laughs> oh, oh, great job, Elliot. Great job, Elliot. One of those situations in Frisbee where it's okay. Oh, ballsy. Not in the end zone, though. No, I don't know that you ought to. And throws it in and catches the score. And with that, we're going to tie it up. 10 to 10. Get your electrolytes. Drink your water. We've already had like four ultimate points in a row, it feels like. But you know what? What's one more ultimate point? This time it's for real. This time there cannot be another point after it. 10 10. Game, set, match. Tournament ultimate universe point right now. Let's go. 
All right, here we go. Actual universe point for real this time. You know it's universe point because I actually caught the pool. It was that important to me. Oh, hex. Look at that. Inferno coming out with the zone for the first time in this game. I love the bold decision. Looks like it did not pay off, but I love the bold decision. And now can Hex be chill? Can they do what they need to? Beautiful fakes. Even better mark. And the other health mark that Emma was doing took away all chances of a break. And heck, showing that they can be chilly. We haven't really seen them th that much from this weekend. Be able to do this super chill offense with lots of swings, but... Oh, no. Here we go. Now you gotta play defense. Now you gotta play defense. I'm gonna go ahead and pat myself on the back for choosing to film this game. It's always a it's always a hard guess for me which uh, which games are gonna be fun to watch and good to film and all that type of stuff. These two teams are not disappointing. Great play from both sides. Oh, there it is. There's the continue super tall man. She's gonna continue the threat on the field. That Lexi's there. Oh. And we are going to get a foul. I think we're going to get a foul call. I think it's going to be no contest. So we're going to keep it there. Disc is in. Oh, yeah. Power position, deep shot. They're going to put all their faith into the jamming. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Jamming doesn't win championships. <laughs> Swings win championships. Alright, Inferno staying in that zone, even though they did get shredded by one backhand over the top earlier. They've stayed in it. Lexi with a big time snag. I think it was out, actually out of frame of my camera. All the yelling and screaming. Oh, nobody can hear anything. This is fantastic. Jaeger is stuck. She doesn't have a whole lot of options. She goes push pass. Man, Jaeger is just the embodiment of those dump resets. Push passes, lefty backhands. Doing all the things I'm telling y'all you should be doing. Wow. Oh, look at all of Showdown was going to get pumped. They were all absolutely pumped with that decision. There is a... Injury that was called. Yeah, it might have might have bumped heads. It seems like, or you know, it might just be that it's really hot outside. Could be a lot of reasons. All right, Hex deciding who they want to put in using their injury sub. I think the disc is, people are moving, so I imagine disc is in. Emma's just gonna bomb it, which I love that choice. Cause holy crap, that's a good matchup. Makes me wonder why they haven't used that more this game. Oh yeah. Yeah, put your faith in LSU. Oh man. <laughs> Look at that, in the end, Inferno pulled some tricks out of their bag they hadn't used all game. Absolutely love a couple of a couple of tall players hucking it to each other. Gonna be dominant. Man, fantastic finish to this game. Fantastic finish to this game. Excellent play from both teams. Several people are gonna be wishing they could get those decisions back. On the one hand, I love Kimmy's throw, but on the other hand, you can't do that on ultimate point. But fantastic stuff. I need to go run over to catch the next game as this one has been running long, but we will catch y'all later. See you in a bit.